really quick video today just because Earthenix are at it again. Um, so this is a review of the Earthenix glazing puller, which costs $30, to tell you that it is in fact just a $5 card end puller. And it's exactly the same one, they're not very good, they don't work very well. You can buy one on Amazon for $5 if you want to give it a go most of the time. Um, I would recommend this Gunson Mini, it's the one I always recommend, they're £9 in the UK, but can be a little pricier to get in the States depending on the, the price varies, depending on who you buy it from. Um, it's a simple tool, a suction tool, I use it to close my pots. The longer version of this story is that about a year ago a company were using my footage and images to imply that you were buying this while selling one of the cheap ones. Um, and it's the same company throughout. I keep getting their websites taken down because they're using my copyrighted images. And you can, you know, if, if anyone's stealing your copyrighted images, look into DMCA takedowns. Uh, generally speaking, the website platform will do it for you. They'll have a report form you can get it taken down. They were using Shopify, so it was very easy. It would be taken down each day. And then a month later, another one would spring up. This is their latest incarnation of it. They've been quiet for probably three or four months now. And I guess it's because it's the run into Christmas, you'll start seeing adverts for it. If you follow Pottery and you're on Instagram or Facebook, they run Instagram or Facebook ads. Uh, so you'll quite possibly start seeing them. The company is called Earthenix um, and they are selling a cheap car, car dent puller for significantly more than it's worth. That's assuming you even get one from them. Um, some people have said that they bought from similar companies and nothing's turned up. But even if you get it, it won't work very well. Um, but I will link to my description of this one, how to use them in general. So if you have been caught out by it and then found this video, I'll tell you how to get the most out of it. Um, the cheap card empires, it's not that they don't work, it's that the quality control is bad. So if you've got a good one, it will work just fine. If you've got a bad one, it won't work. And you can tell whether you've got a good or bad one by if you stick it to a surface that's solid, smooth and airtight, you know, you should get a seriously good grip on it because that's what they're designed for. Um, sticking it to pottery, you've got to wax resist the base so that it sticks. Um, but I think they've now incorporated that advice into their website, which is at least something, because for quite a while they weren't telling the people who were buying it that. So unless you knew what to search for, you couldn't find instructions on how to use the thing you just paid, um, completely overpaid for. But yeah, I'll link to my um, the full instructions on how to use it, and I'll link to this one if you want to buy a better one. But the main thing is, if you see an advert for it, don't buy it, they're overcharging you and what you're getting is not very good.